We're here at Summit West. This is the area where a number of people learn to ski. I'm going to show you uh, all the different areas up here at the mountain and give you some of the insight into where to ski, where the communities are, where the houses are. Up there is the Thunderbird Lodge. The one nice thing about Summit West is that run over there is almost never crowded. You can't see much of it from this angle, but you can see, you know, it's pretty steep terrain. It's definitely advanced. Uh, you take that chair and it leads you to the backcountry where there's some absolutely phenomenal skiing. Bird Alp and Tall right now, this is definitely one of the most advanced, well it is the most advanced area up here, it's one of the most advanced areas around. International, which is up here at the top of the peak, right around the backside, you can't see it here, um, used to be one of the seven steepest runs in the U.S. Uh, before extreme skiing became popular. It's still pretty darn steep. And the backcountry bowl is right back through there. You can kind of see the, uh, the other side of it. So it's a great area. It's a blast skiing here. It's down close to the Alpatol ski area. And as you can see, it's a barbarian theme throughout the village here. And it's uh, one of the best communities up here for sure. The crest of the hill here is uh, Snow Lake, one of the most popular hikes in the Northwest. Here at the Silver Furs Express Chair, which a lot of people don't even know it exists. Once again, we're in the village at the summit. As you can see, there's duplex units. Uh, what they are is they're a common wall. They've got a sound barrier between you and your home uh, to the center line of the wall. In addition to those, we have a number of single family homes in here. They're significantly more expensive. It's not uncommon to see them well over a million dollars.